Hello, everyone. I'm Sign One News anchor Gaytree Killings. Here is a quick look at the top trending stories making headlines today. If you post an interesting comment about this update, we may add it at the bottom of the screen. Here's what's happening today. Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg is thrilled at the launch of his new social media platform called Threads. However, Twitter CEO Elon Musk is not happy one bit and is now threatening to sue. Within a few hours of Threads launch, there were 50 million downloads. And shortly after that, Musk's lawyer sent Meta an order to stop using what he calls Twitter trade secrets. Musk's legal team alleges Meta hired former Twitter employees to develop threads. And they allege those employees brought improperly retained Twitter documents and electronic devices to help develop threads. Meta claims no one on the threads engineering team is a former Twitter employee. At this point, it's unclear whether the legal order will actually lead to a lawsuit. Four years ago at a Walmart in El Paso, Texas, 24-year-old Patrick Crucius shot and killed 23 people. Authorities say he walked through the Walmart intentionally looking to kill Mexican people and immigrants. The shooting is the deadliest attack targeting Latinos in modern U.S. history. Crucius pleaded guilty to all the charges. Today, a jury sentenced him to 90 consecutive life terms for each of the 90 federal charges, including hate crimes. Witnesses in the courtroom say he showed no emotion and stared straight ahead during the announcement of the verdict. A Kentucky couple decided to end their pregnancy after doctors told them their baby had a defect that would cause her to either be stillborn or die very quickly after birth. They did not want their daughter, who they named Willow Rose, to suffer. And the mother's blood pressure was already high and could get dangerously higher as the pregnancy went on. But Kentucky law bans nearly all abortions. There are no exceptions, even if a fetus has a severe birth defect. The couple traveled out of state for a procedure that would induce birth and at least give them a chance to hold their daughter. But the procedure cost tens of thousands of dollars that they just didn't have. So their only option was a surgery that left their daughter in pieces, not whole. Now the couple is furious that Kentucky's strict abortion laws meant they would never be able to see or hold their dead daughter to say goodbye. The couple said they're speaking publicly about their experience in the hopes that Kentucky legislators will listen 
and revise abortion laws. Three sponsors of Kentucky abortion laws did not respond to emails from CNN. Earlier this week, a bag of cocaine was found in a storage space near the ground floor entrance of the White House. As of Thursday, investigators had begun reviewing visitor logs and security footage, hoping to find out who put the bag there. Weekend White House tours typically pass through that entrance. And visitors are asked to leave their phones in those storage spaces. The storage spaces are also sometimes used by staff who need to leave their phones behind for security reasons. Officials say it may be hard to identify a suspect given the number of people who pass through that area. And they have not received DNA or fingerprint analysis yet. But a federal law enforcement official says the Secret Service will conclude its investigation next week, regardless of whether a suspect is identified. How much money would you need to feel financially secure or rich? In a survey, people said they would need to earn roughly $233,000 a year to feel financially secure. And they would need to make $483,000 a year to feel rich or to attain financial freedom. To put those numbers in perspective, The median earnings for a full-time, year-round worker in 2021 was just over $56,000. More than 2,500 adults in the U.S. took part in the bank rate survey. 72% said they did not currently feel financially secure, although 46% said they expect to someday. The top reason cited for not feeling secure today, 63% said high inflation. That was followed by the economic environment, insufficient emergency savings, insufficient retirement savings, rising interest rates, low pay, or low career mobility, high debt, and housing affordability. Congratulations to former President Jimmy Carter and his wife, Rosalind Carter. Today, July 7th, they are celebrating their 77th wedding anniversary. Whoa. I haven't even been married one year yet. The Carters were married July 7th, 1946 at the Plains United Methodist Church in their hometown of Plains, Georgia. They still live there today. Jimmy Carter is 95 years old and his wife Rosalind is 95. That means he was 21 years old and she was 19 when they were married. Whoa, 77 years. Hey, for all of you couples out there, what do you think is the secret to a long and happy marriage? I want to know. Remember, I'm, I'm a newlywed. I've only been married one year. I was married on November 19th. I would love to hear your feedback and your advice. Okay, watch this video. A young woman getting the shock of a lifetime while peacefully strumming her guitar at home. While she is playing the guitar, a hawk 
lands on the balcony behind her. The door is open. So the hawk slowly creeps closer and closer. The woman has no clue what's going on behind her, but her dog does. It starts to go crazy, barking and growling. But she tells it to be quiet, still unaware of the hawk creeping up behind her. Then the hawk swoops into the house and gobbles up the woman's food sitting on a plate. She jumps up, screams, and runs away. But the dog, of course, goes after the hawk until it flies back out the patio door. No surprise, the video has gone viral. Wow, that's funny. If it was me, I would have screamed too and run out of my house. Sign One News will be broadcasting updates Monday through Friday. A big thank you to our Sign One News app supporters who help make this broadcast happen. You can download the Sign One News app by heading to the App Store or Google Play Store on your smartphone. And you can also watch on television if you prefer on Amazon, Roku, and Apple TV. Have a great day. Have a great weekend.